Christmas is a time of year where we give each other presents and spend the time with our family and loved ones. We teach our children from a young age many different beliefs such as Santa Claus, Jesus' birthday, or it's just simply seen as a public holiday, using it as a reason to exchange gifts. No one really questions the true origins of the 25th of December. Where did the idea of the Christmas tree come from? Why do we decorate the Christmas tree with such decorations? Why do we spend our hard work and money on presents which takes us months to save? Or in some scenarios, we gain high amounts of debt. Why do we give credit to a man who lives apparently in the North Pole with a beard? Such credit. Why do we dumb down our children's minds with such foolishness? It all started in ancient Babylon, a character known as Nimrod, a tyrant who was savage and a very brutal human being. He built the Tower of Babylon, and he was a king who ruled over Shinar. He was well known for being a hunter. He organised a one world government structure, swaying people away from God, and held vengeance in his heart to battle God, as it was God who killed his ancestors. The Most High seen the evil schemes which Nimrod was plotting, and destroyed the Tower of Babylon. Then God separated people and mixed up the languages. The Babylonian beliefs was adopted by Christianity and to this very day people like me once adopted such pagan schemes not knowing its true origins. Nimrod is a Hebrew word derived from Marad meaning he rebelled. He was known as the sun god and his wife also his mother known as Semirias. She was known for the moon goddess of ancient Babylonia, where they both had a child known as Tammuz. In other translators, Tammuz was known as Nimrod, who also was born on the 25th of December. The Christmas tree represents Nimrod. If you read Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2 to 5, Thou say the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For on caught a tree out of the forest, the work of the hand of the hands of the workman. With the axe they deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers, that it move not. They are upright at the palm tree. Within many ancient beliefs, the tree was known for the worship of Nimrod. Placing gifts under a tree, tying a ribbon around the tree was a prayer concept to the sun. It was also known that they used holly and the making of wreaths of laurel branches shaped as a circle on the front doors. So many traditions of past are still now being used in the present day. A Santa has a very similar concept as Nimrod. Semiramis and Nimrod was related as mother and son, where they married and Semiramis gave birth to Tammuz. When Nimrod died, she tried to gain power and hide her evil deeds. She claimed that Nimrod had resurrected as a sun god and that Nimrod some ways impregnated her. Then she gave birth, stating, it was Nimrod's resurrection. Throughout history, it's a well-known concept. Reading Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 14 and verse 16. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was towards the north. And behold, there sat a woman weeping for Tammuz. And he brought me to the inner court of the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and altar, were about five and twenty men with their backs towards the temple of the Lord and their faces towards the east and they worshipped the sun towards the east. Other traditions painted Samarias as being a fish god, having part human body with fish body components. They were known as the Dorgans. Looking at the drawings, you'll see the hat is similar to a bishop's hat. 
I can't understand how people can't see that a spell has been casted upon them. Such ancient civilizations shared similar beliefs, such as certain groups in ancient Egypt were sun worshippers. Osiris and Isis had a child called Horus, which he was born on the 25th of December. The Indian goddess of Devika and a child known as Krishna. So looking at Christianity, Jesus' birthday was on the 25th of December. So as you can see, they all but date to ancient Babylonians. Santa Claus is basically Nimrod. They call it Xmas, because in all realness, you don't even know what you're celebrating. Nimrod was known to have a beard and holding a Christmas tree, just like Santa. And looking at the name Santa, it says it all really. Revelations chapter 12 verse 9 And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Christmas is a great day for spending time with your loved ones and family, but we have been blinded into accepting such traditional meanings without knowing its true origins. The truth is there for everyone to see, but such people will not accept such truths because they don't want their illusion shattered.